You all are the glory of the Father, and I bless each and every one of you in Jesus' mighty name. I love you all so, so, so very much. Can I really welcome those who have uh, just recently subscribed? And not just you alone. I want to really thank those who are liking, and at the same time, those who are um, also sharing. I love you, and I honor you. Thank you for just being able to participate <laughs> in spreading the gospel. I honor you, and I love you all. You all are great and thank you for so being for being so kind i honor your kindness in jesus mighty name amen and amen so today i just wanted to just speak on a word and i believe um this is for somebody out there you know in times can i explain it this way right you see when the father basically called two people together yeah what he does sometimes i'm helping us to understand the mystery of the will of the father sometimes the lord can allow one person yes whether it's the man or the woman to be what to be successful in what they're doing in order to support the others yes the other basically so you can begin to understand it this is not a place where you should be ashamed whether a woman is supporting you no not at all the lord allowed it in that moment in time because there is a mystery behind it and in that process in time it's a place where either the man at the same time is successful and have to look after the woman it depends on who the father has called into what he needs to do and for that reason in itself right he can allow one person to be successful and to look after the other person while that person is focusing on what God has called them to do. Yes. And I want to explain this from a revelation the Father brought into my presence. And I'm going to explain it so that you understand the context in which I am speaking from where I am bringing this from. There was this two uh, wonderful people and God had called them into the kingdom dimension. They were supposed to be, uh, they were supposed to go into kingdom marriage. So the partner, the female that is, she was working and she was successful at what she was doing. Now the man, on the other hand, he had been struggling. Yeah. For a long time, he had been struggling. There was no finances. There was, he was trying to look for a job. Nothing was happening to the point that every time he needed food, he would have to go to to the partner's office and where she will basically serve him yes her lunch can you see that and eventually you know it was a place where in that office people began to mock her that hey how can you be with a man that cannot take care of you you know he has no money he has nothing he's coming to you at lunch break to basically feed off you you need to let this man go can you see that and for a long time the lady was absolutely okay with it because you know why there was a promise on the kingdom union can you see that there was a promise and she was standing on the promise so she was praying for the man and the man was so grateful for the help this woman kept rendering so what eventually happened you know the voices got a little bit a little bit louder and what eventually happened after that where she now began to listen to what people were saying so now she got home she began to pray and she was crying out to the lord she was like hey father you know you called us uh to this relationship to this union but here i am i am being mocked i am being slandered people are telling me to let this man go and father i feel so ashamed you know at this point in time just being with this person and how i'm having to look after this person to feed this person and you know she was crying out to the lord in that moment in time jesus appeared to the woman sat beside her and began to encourage the woman and you know what jesus said to her he said do not let your heart be troubled why because the word that i have spoken over your spouse is going to come to pass you keep doing what you are doing yes you will reap if you faint not so in that moment in time do you know what happened the spouse called he was about to go for a job interview and she called and she i mean he called and she got up the courage after she got the the visitation from the lord and she began to pray for this man you know she basically prayed for him that he will be successful he will be all that the father had called him to be and she was releasing glorious essence over him the man was absolutely grateful he said wow you prayed for me this morning before i went for my job interview god bless you he hung up the phone he went for the job interview only for 
that to fade out. <laughs> then it fades back in about a few years later. Now the man is so wealthy. Can you see? He's so wealthy. And the woman, she's now traveling all over the world to whatever country she wants to go and have a holiday. Can you see that dimension? Then one day, the person, yes, in her office came to her. You know, they used to work together and said, you know what? I'm so glad you stayed with this man that you did not listen to my counsel. Do you see that? Otherwise, you would have missed all of this opportunity. So it is with that that I want to encourage somebody called Franklina today. Yes, I want to encourage you because this might be the dimension that you're actually walking in. Not that this might, this actually, because if the father called me to basically speak that, this is what is happening. Yes, because it's a place where you're faced with pressure all around. Let that man go. Let him go because he doesn't have any money. He doesn't have, you know, he doesn't have this. He doesn't have that. You know, just let him go you know and the father is saying i need you to hold on and the reason why i need you to hold on is because of the promise that i've spoken over that man you know sometimes everything that the father does yes he's hidden for a while yes because he can allow the woman to go first and eventually to bring success through the man because everything is divinely appointed so majority of the time this is always a posture of the heart how do you feel why did you like that person in the first place was it because of the promise i spoke or because of the love that you have for him do you see that could it be the fact that the father is asking you that despite all that is happening around him i need you to continue to pray for him because you know why it might not look as it is right this minute but there is something i am doing to bring the fulfillment of my word to pass in his life because you know why you will not rip if you let it go easily but then again you will rip if you faint not so the father is encouraging you today frankly now and he's helping you to understand that you need to be patient in him for what he's doing with that man because what you're seeing today he might not be all flamboyant. He might be in the ministry. Not many people are around him. He might not have many views. He might not have many subscribers. He might not even have people around him. But the promise over the life of that person is, I have opened doors to nations because that man is going to be wealthy. That man, I have called him into greatness. Because remember Jesus, the greatness that was in Jesus, that Jesus is, was born in a manger. This is the savior of the world. But look at where he was birthed not in a five-star hotel not in a four-star hotel in a manger so you can understand that the mystery of the father is to hide yes that person for a while until the appointed time when he lifts him up and all people will be drawn to him so don't measure and I speak this with absolute confidence in the Lord. Don't measure that man, yes, by where they're at at this present moment. Don't do it. No, don't measure him by where he's at at this moment. Because my word upon his life, it's going to be fulfilled at the appointed time. Do you see that? Because God, in his infinite mercy, could actually also be taking that man on a test. Yes, could be taking him on a test because he's going to bless him. And to be, you know, and in that blessing, he needs to basically see how he's going to steward finances still what family still what relationship still what everything that the father has called him to stay with and eventually release him into that greatness so the counsel of the people that are around you <laughs> you have to be careful of those counsels because you know why if you listen to them and you let it go you will be at the losing end do you see that for the promise that i have for you because that person is whom i have called for you so for that reason stand firm in what i have spoken don't give up but continue to pray because at the appointed time you will see the fulfillment of my word manifest in his life amen I just want to bless you with that, frankly. Now. And I pray that the Lord in his infinite mercy will help you to stand fast and to stand firm in what he has said and to continuously pray for the one that God has called for you right from the very beginning. You will not miss it in the name of Jesus because the fullness of what the Father has for you is in that man. You will not miss it. No, you will not in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you. Stay blessed. I bless you with the mercy of God. I bless you with life. I bless you with the favor of the Lord. And I bless you with the strength of the Lord Jesus. Because the Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen and amen. God bless you because you're the blessedness of the Father. Hallelujah. Amen.